It's Friday, family, and this is Pastor Flowers here at Transformation Community Church, and this is Friday Drill with Pastor Flowers. And I know this is a Valentine's Day weekend, and you all excited about your weekend. You all booed up with your loved one, ready to go out and do your Valentine's Day thing. Amen and hallelujah. So again, as I mentioned before, uh, we're going to be talking about love the entire month of February. So while you all are ready to go out and do your Valentine's Day thing, let me give you a word that's going to help you get through this weekend. Amen and hallelujah. So this word is going to come out of Romans 13 and 10, and we're going to title this only love is enough. Amen. And the word reads, love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. Glory to God. Glory to God. Family, if we really love one another, we could forget all the other commandments. For indeed, love fulfills the law. You see, love is a moral principle and a principle that covers all the world's moral activities. Amen and hallelujah. There are a few other moral principles such as uh, be holy or uh, do justice. Another moral principle is to do no harm. Amen. And there's others and so on and so on. There's others as well. Uh, these principles apply in all times and in all places. I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down there. We can never say, no, I don't have to love here or I don't have to do justice there. And we can never say things like it's OK to do harm in this particular situation. Amen and hallelujah. In all cases, moral principles apply. You cannot pick and choose when you want to use them. In all cases, moral principles apply. Amen and hallelujah. Family, when we love someone, we should not need to be reminded not to steal from them, not to lie about them or even to cheat them. We shouldn't. That shouldn't be anything that we're reminded of. That should be something internal. That should be something innate. That should be something inside of us that says, hey, we have to do what's right, what's fair and what's just. Amen and hallelujah. Such reminders are almost impertinent for someone who loves one another. And here's what Paul says. And I love what he says. Paul says love does no harm to a neighbor, but doing no harm or merely observing the law is not enough. We got to do better than that, y'all. Amen. So only the perfect love that Christ showed when he gave his life for ours is sufficient to fulfill the law. It's all about fulfilling the law. Christ removed the curse of lawlessness and has given us everlasting life. Amen and hallelujah. Help me somebody. To love as Jesus did means that we incorporate God's self-sacrificing love into our hearts. In Christ, God showed us not only perfect obedience to the law, but perfect love. We call that agape love, unconditional love. Amen and hallelujah. And only Christ fully lives out that perfect love. We try to, we struggle, but in our sinful ways and our sinful self, we can't always uh, be in that space of agape love. Would you agree? Amen and hallelujah. So we who live in this hostile world still struggle with desires to make gains for ourselves or to harm others. That's just a fair statement. And if you be honest with yourself, you will say, yeah, I, I, I'm in that position. I, I agree with that. And sometimes I find myself wanting to love, wanting to have agape love, but I'm just not there yet. Amen and hallelujah. Since we still live in this tension and in this world, we still need the law. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let us pray. God, forgive us when we harm our neighbor. Help us to truly love you and others, guiding us by your own perfect love shown to us through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. And it's in your perfect name that we pray. Amen. Amen and hallelujah. Glory to God. So family on this Valentine's Day weekend, I want you to know that I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I want you to know that God loves you so, so, so much more. So until next Friday, have a most favored weekend.